I went to NYU not expecting to really have very popular political opinions as a right-leaning person going to a very notoriously progressive school. Um, and when I was there for the, um, like, 2018 to 2020, I did end up leaving the school during the pandemic and starting my career. But my experience was that um, there was a lot of self-censorship on campus, myself included. I had social concerns about expressing my political views, even though it's a highly political campus, feeling like an outlier. I, I often felt shut down or demonized for political differences. And if you look at statistics from FIRE, the organization that I work for, which is a free speech organization, the fact is the majority of students admit to self-censoring from time to time. And certain political groups, if you're in the minority, no matter the context, conservative schools, left-wing students feel the same way. But um, I think there's a stifling of a meaningful good faith conversation and often an instinct to jump down people's throats. And I admit, I hid books under my dorm room bed. I had my Thomas Sowell book under my bed because I was afraid, <laughs> God forbid, someone saw that. Um, and since I've been more outspoken politically, I have lost a lot of friendships, even though I consider myself a centrist and an independent and a moderate. But much more importantly to me, a lot of people from my life in NYU that I interacted with frequently, who lived down the hall from me, who I had classes with, who I never would have known I had political common ground with or ever had a conversation with about a contentious issue for fear of being canceled or shut down, actually started to come to me when I was outspoken and said, oh, I totally agree with you. And I had professors and deans, but so frequently the conversations were like, thanks for saying that, I feel the same way, but just don't tell anyone that we talked about that. Um, for sh fear of social uh, repercussions, and, and I understand that. I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled and glad and proud to speak out and not be self-censoring anymore, but I do think that that's a big problem on college campuses, and one that I wish we could all kind of work towards getting over and having um, kind of reinvigorating the spirit of free speech, because when I went to NYU, I did not feel that that was something in orientation or even in my classroom settings that professors led the way to saying, let's not ta attack someone ad hominem for their views, let's talk about the views themselves. Um, so I felt at NYU that it was lacking, honestly, that, that spirit on campus. David? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a very nuanced conversation. We need to have the... Um the ability to have free and open conversations on campuses, but I, I also think that um, at the same time, we have to realize that there are, um, how do I say this? There's a lot of people where that hasn't really ever been the case, where they aren't even self-censoring, they're just uh, censored in the first place. Um, where they don't feel comfortable, for example, talking about the, the increasing role that police have played on campuses in response to things like Columbine and the disproportionate effect that that tends to have on black and brown students, where, for example, we're investing a lot more in, you know, in, in public schools that I've seen across New York City with different programs I've worked with at reducing gun violence, where they're much more, the government is much more likely to invest in how to respond to gun violence or you know, how to prevent it uh, right as it's about to happen by putting a police watchtower outside of a public middle school, for example, instead of investing in the after-school programs for that school or investing in teacher salaries or investing in school supplies so that teachers don't have to buy them. And my own experience on my college campus was that I, I, I too didn't want it to be a, you know, a liberal bubble. I went to school in a very liberal state in a very liberal town that votes 90% Democratic um, on a, in a college campus within that town. 